Welcome back to Ship Planet, everyone. This is Ace. With the month of August wrapped up, I thought it'll be a good idea to review Shiba Inu and take a look at what's on the horizon for the month of September. I'm also going to take a moment to discuss how Shibarium will revolutionize the Shiba Inu ecosystem. Before we continue, I'd like to thank thank everyone for your continued support and your encouragement and your ideas i'll keep on continuing trying to improve the quality of my videos for the community especially as the weeks and months go by that said i'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice these videos are made for information and entertainment uh, purposes only also i suggest that you watch uh, today's video at at least 1.5 or higher settings this will help you consume the content a lot faster well, so far, for the month of September, the things we can look forward to are new exchange listings. As some of you already know, Webull, um, which is the brokerage exchange, is in the final stages of beta tasting uh, trades for SHIB token, and it'll, offic it'll officially launch SHIB trading in a matter of days. Also, we have the long-awaited Coinbase listing, who we believe are long overdue, definitely, in my opinion. They have, as you know, they briefly listed Shiba Inu in June, but they delayed the launch due to unspecified technical issues. Also, this should be the month where we hear more about the Shiba Inu NFTs. I know if you if you watched the Discord recently, uh, Eric from the Discord server, he briefly mentioned that a project the NFT project is nearing its completion. So that's gonna be interesting to see what will happen there. So, okay, let's take a brief look at the overall market. We'll take a brief look at the overall market. So uh, basically after a period of stagnation, the overall crypto currency market has reignited with the global uh, market cap of over 2 trillion. It's actually sitting at 2.2 trillion at the moment, which is really high um, compared to uh, recently. And Bitcoin is aiming to break 50K again. Actually, today it's been uh, breaking um, on and off between 50K and 49. And whilst Ethereum has been on fire lately, and it's jumped up a massive 20% over the past week alone. In fact, Ethereum, it continued rallying this week, even um, as Bitcoin was going down a few days ago. And uh, both Bitcoin and Ethereum, they collectively make up 60% of the entire co uh, crypto market cap. And this month of September, it's going to be very significant, significant for crypto because Cardano over here, it will definitely slide into the 100 billion category because this is the month where it will roll out smart contracts. As you can see, it's currently at 97 and I've seen it go um, pretty high today. So now, why am I talking about these top three coins? Um, what do they possibly have to do with Shiba Inu, you may be asking? Well, firstly, as market leaders, they provide much needed context to the upswings and downswings in the market. For instance, Bitcoin dropped about 35 billion uh, at some point within the last 72 hours. And um, let me see if, that, if there's a chart for that. In the last 72 hours, and this caused massive stagnation across the market. If you remember, uh, recently, uh, a lot of the market um, went, went down. This was part of the, the reason. Um, it caused a lot of stagnation across the market and even SHIB lost its support line of about 7 of 7,000 units and we went back into the 600s, uh, I mean 6,000s. And secondly, because um, September, as, as you'll see, it's when the, the big three, which are these, um, these coins over here, they're going to approach and surpass previous milestones, uh, according to, to analysts. Now, according to my previous simulation, let me see if I can if I can find it. According to my previous simulation, Bitcoin it's set to close September at around 56k, and, and that's if it's to meet its uh, if, if if it's to meet its 80k uh, target of um, according to the conservative version of the stock to flow model. If you remember, we we ran two simultaneous simulations. One of them was the regular stock to flow model, which had Bitcoin at uh, closing at 100k at the end of the year, and we did a simultaneous uh, other version of the stock to flow model which has it at at uh, 80k so let's just uh, quickly adjust that to september to where we are at the moment let's see if i bring it to september um at the end of september we are going to be like, according to this this is the target for for bitcoin at the end of september so uh, to put that into context let's just quickly go back to august so if i just switch it to August, and I just adjust the market cap for 
for August according to this, we were pretty much spot on. So this is pretty much at the end of August, this is pretty much where we are. So according to these two models, at the moment, uh, it looks like we are on track for the stock to flow target um, of, of about uh, 80K by, by the time we get to, by the time we get to December. Okay, that, that said, um, also there's Ethereum. Ethereum is set to match its all-time high by the end of this month if it continues um, its dominance ratio with B, uh, Bitcoin. In fact, at its current rate, it's, it might certainly do that. This is, the, this is mostly because of an increased demand in DeFi applications and the current FT, NFT boom. Let me see if I can find, find an article to support that for you guys. So I found this article here. Um, basically, the, the question is, why is Ethereum going up and when will it hit uh, 10,000? That's uh, published within the last 12 hours, I think. So um, the point of interest is here, it says, a major reason for Ethereum surge in 2021 has been excitement over DeFi and NFTs. So this is going to be a, a recurring theme in today's uh, video, DeFi and NFTs. Um, Ethereum hosts many DeFi products and NFT marketplaces. DeFi products uh, adoption is increasing as people seek better alternatives to traditional finance services. So this uh, this article is uh, proposing that this is the, one of the biggest reasons why Ethereum is, is going up. And it says here that Kevin O'Leary of Shark Tank even predicts that DeFi apps will replace uh, financial intermediaries in a few years. So this is um, import quite important, uh, especially for the context of today's video. And if I can just quickly finish up, um, another factor is Cardano. It will have a double whammy this month um, because it's already at its all-time all high um, at current price. And uh, and this, that's before the launch of the smart contracts, which are going to happen about 10 days from now. So now with all of these factors combined, uh, the way that I see it, all of these uh, factors combined to uh, all together is going to make this a crypto month to remember. And you know that when milestones are broken, particularly among these top three, that uh, that usually means very good news for the other altcoins, and that includes Shiba Inu. Now, on the SHIB chart, SHIB is currently trading at 7123. We are up um, roughly uh, three, three, three to 5% of past the uh, past the in the last 20 for 24 hours and we're also back in the green on the seven day so if i just quickly um, show on the seven day and it shows that shib it's it's proven remarkably resilient by consistently bouncing back despite market manipulation and large sell-offs in the month of august now whilst people with a short-term view might view that as a frustration to me that signifies that there's a strong remnant of holders that see the true potential of ship um, hence the hence it uh, bouncing back from resistance now remember guys ship doesn't behave like other cryptos because um, it didn't start like other cryptos uh, just like I mentioned in my previous videos, I mentioned that traditional crypto projects, they first find, let me see if I can illustrate that um, with traditional cryptos. With, tra with traditional uh, cryptos, they first, this is, how, this is how they work, they first find um, either a real world problem or an opportunity, and then they build technology to solve that problem, or, or they capitalize on the op opportunity, and then they tokenize it. Then after that, they wait for the market to make them relevant. That's how it works in, in um, with traditional cryptos. Uh, for example, if you look at Ethereum, if you look at, Ether at the Ethereum, Ethereum chart, this is at the all-time um, view it started from virtual obscurity it gained brief relevance around about here in 2017 and then seemingly back into obscurity but during this seemingly dry period vitalik buterin he continued to work on the smart contract platform until the market saw that um, saw its relevance and then this resulted in eth booming towards the uh, at the beginning of this year but this boom, it caused some unforeseen consequences of network congestion and extremely high gas fees, um, which, which have been caused by DeFi and NFTs. Now, this is what I call a real world problem. Now, this um, in this real world problem, this is the one that I want to draw your attention to. The rise of Ethereum will only exacerbate the issues um, 
and before ETH2 comes out. And uh, I believe Ryoshi, he foresaw this. And then he laid plans for a decentralized platform, which would run on a layer two blockchain. And of course, this is um, Shibaswap or Shibarium uh, and Shibarium. And this was the, and this was when he, and he spoke about all these things when layer two DeFi was hardly talked about. If you read uh, Ryoshi's Medium um, article, he mentions low gas and no gas DeFi. Um, and he, all, he mentioned this before gas fees were even at the level which they are these days. Now the question remains, is gas free DeFi possible? Well, the short answer is, uh, is yes. Um, if, you, if you know, there is a current low gas solution uh, via an, a DeFi platform called QuickSwap, and it runs on Polygon. But the process is rather convoluted, and it's quite—it's not really suitable for, for for beginners. However, in my research, I found a hidden layer two solution called um, Immutable X. Now, it has successfully uh, positioned itself as a layer two solution for Ethereum, specifically for NFTs. Now, it, it provides zero gas fees and instant transactions, which are tailor-made for NFTs uh, and blockchain gaming. Now, if, as it says here, it says they're the first layer two for NFTs on Ethereum, zero gas fees, instant trades, and scalability for games, applications, and marketplaces. I actually tested this um, by going to the marketplace and um, grabbing a few things, and it genuinely is super fast, and it's um, yeah, it, it's very interesting to, to check out. Now, remember how I mentioned that uh, good projects, they solve future problems. So what sort of organizations do you think um, are forward thinkers. It turns out that Disney, Marvel Comics, is um, they're turning to NFTs to, to NFTs this this year, and with the level of attention which they'll need, which they'll need to you know to have a, a hassle-free platform which can support all the the volume which you know which they'll obviously have because of the the comic fans. It turns out that this is the very platform which is going to support that. They've um, pretty much the, the Marvel executives, they found a, a solution to a problem and then they're going to capitalize on it while, whilst other platforms are going to are real from paying like $100 gas fees. Now, remember that I said that uh, when a good crypto project is setting up, they find a problem and then they build a, a solution around it. And uh, the problem which I'm identifying here, the, pro is, the problem is the, the high gas fees caused by the NFTs and DeFi. And if this is an NFT solution, where is the DeFi one? The answer, in, in my view, is um, the answer is with Shibarium running on Shibaswap. Now, this is a, a real, real world uh, problem which is being worked on behind the scenes, in, in my view. And um, if we play our cards right, we could they, we could be like a like a glass of water to a thirsty person in a desert, in my view. Now, um, if if I can show you something else, if you go to DeFi Pulse um, over here, you'll see that there was a there is a global TVL of 95 billion over here, um, and this is for all the T, all the DeFi assets. And just two months ago, you know when. ShibaSwap launched on the 7th here, the TVR was 71 billion. And, and right now it's climbed up all the way to 90 billion. So clearly DeFi is increasing. But um, as you can see, all these platforms here, these are all other uh, dApps, uh, just like ShibaSwap, and almost all of them run on uh, Ethereum with the exception of a couple. See, they're all Ethereum. Um, so that tells me that the gas problem, it'll only get worse. Now, and how do I know that it's um, it's this is this issue is on the developer's radar? Well, if you look at um, let me see. Well, if you look at the official Twitter for 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 that uh, immutable X, which I was showing you about, um, guess who who I found following them too? So this is the immutable X zero to zero guess. Uh, none other than it's being followed by none other than our very own Shatoshi Kusama. And uh, just for context, this this company here, VV Digi, Digi Collectibles, they are the ones who have the license with Marvel, and uh, this is their this is their, their their token. Now, that says to me that our, our devs, they're definitely aware of a gaping hole in the market, and they're keen to see how the big boys are solving future problems. So, you see guys, in my view, SHIB is a long-term project. 
that's that's how I see it. And uh, this is just one of the solutions which are coming up. And one of the reasons why we tra trade sideways, in my view, is that there's not enough people talking about things like this. And so the market, uh, they can't really take us serious at the moment. So, if, for example, if you look at our... If you look at our coin market cap description, it reads as if we know, like a six, like a kindergarten story. It says here, what is Shiba Inu? Once upon a time, there was a very special dog. That dog was a Shiba Inu, and this dog inspired millions of people around the world to invest money in, into tokens with uh, the dog's image on it. So when um, when serious investors look look at this, they compare it against other other projects which immediately talk about um, their use cases. They talk about things like interoperability and uh, you know various software solutions. Um, and yeah, so, so so that's one of the reasons why they don't take take us seriously, at least at first glance. But that contrast is actually a good thing because it helps us stand out, in my view. And it's it's important to stand out since there's you know tens of thousands of cryptos, and that's why. Um, that's actually one of the reasons why we are we have over we are on over one million watch lists, even though we have about six hundred thousand um, holders. So to round things up, how do I think how do I think things are going to turn out? Well, um, in my view, um, if if Shibarium launches, let's say early next year, the best way to bring things back to bring attention back to SHIB is, is going to be with another liquidity event. Now, remember the liquidity event attracted about 2 billion in revenue in, in about 24 hours on its very first day. But this time, uh, people, they will experience the, the sharp contrast of dealing with little or nasc, no gas fees um, if Shibaswap is now you know, linked with, uh, with Shibarium. And um, and it'll have only minimal transaction fees, and I think this is where the treat token is going to best fit in. As you know, the tre there's a treat token which is going to be coming up, and I and I think it's going to be just like how Bone was a cash cow during the first liquidity event, and I think after people, um, you know, enjoy the benefits of low gas DeFi during the treat liquidity event, um, they it's going to be hard for them to go back to paying a hundred dollars, you know gas fees just to yield farm and when you can do it for, for virtually for free on uh, an, a layer 2 blockchain and this would drastically change the image of SHIB and of course it would um, it would be good to have transactional burns as well uh, to take advantage of all that volume so this is just my thoughts guys thoughts and opinions um, and that would be it for me um, thank you very much for watching guys I'm finalizing the last minute touches to the calculators and I'm, I'm going to try to code them into a software to make it safer to, to share. I'll keep you guys posted on how that will pan out. Thanks for hearing me ramble, guys. Peace.